Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of my EU4 survey campaign in Mew and Taxes. I won the war against the Mamluks in the last part. Well, I finished the war. I think I won a couple parts ago. So my current ruler is a 666. And then all of that. My heir is a 240 with hopeless spender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say goodbye. And she's gone. Hopefully I'll get a better one. I had a bunch of prestige, so... I do have a uh, Sunni fanatics rising up. Let's see, twenty thousand of them. It was actually thirty-two thousand, but I went to the estates and I did expansion of city citizenship and the corvée labor or whatever. Which one from that was from the uh, greater nobles? There's the rebels. And they pretty much melted. Deal with the other stack. Good thing about that is now I can make a bunch of cores. Three to be exact. Have them go over here and then I can make a core once the troops are on it. Yep. It's not going to happen over here. A little bit helped. Mamluks are parking their troops in Sinna, which is a great idea, Mamluks. Lose that. Lose those manpower. I think my uh, ship limit, yep, went up a little bit. I'm going to grab four transport ships. Bring me up to 20. Can attack Retina in four years. Should be able to call in Georgia. They haven't allied anybody else. They're not going to ally... I don't think they're going to. They might ally the Jalarids. Although they're allied with two people. So I think they're the only ones they can really ally. Maybe Fars or the Jalarids. Because they rivaled... No, they rivaled Jalarids. And they rivaled the Mamluk. Okay, so... I don't think they really have any options for allies. Just Fars, really, or maybe some, like, small power over here. So I shouldn't really have to worry about them having 
allies. I want to get this, just war. Miss missionary strength plus 3%. And I th think... Are Catholics considered heretics? Because that would be great for the missionary strength versus heretics plus 2%. That would be 5% against Catholics. Let's see, do I have Catholic provinces? Yep, they're considered heretics. That's, uh, that's perfect. <clears throat> so that's 3% against Sunni and 5% against Catholic. I'll take this idea. I should be able to take that in two years. I think for now I'm going to chill out and not really attack anybody. Uh, St. Thomas Christians. They're Jewish. So I get unrest? Sure, do that. I'm gonna check to make sure I'm administering... I'm attracting uh, qualified artisans in all my provinces. That have production bonuses. I think that's it. And this province now has... four urban pops. And a city hall is being built. I'd like to get over into Italy more. Looks like Naples has allied Castile. Fortunately, Castile does not have a PU over Aragon yet. Problem is everybody's allied with everybody. I could attack C, I don't know. I think I want to stay right now at least in the Adriatic node. Ferrara is allied with Venice, Trieste, Naples, and Florence. Okay. We got a little World War I situation going on over here with where everybody is allied to everybody. Mm, 
Naples attacks Styria. Naples, you're not actually supposed to expand. You're just supposed to stay here and do nothing in the entire game. Be eaten. That's what happens. See, Genoa allied a ton of people too. Florence people stayed in Verona. my troops from the Levant over here since this is where the rebels are Florentine rebels and Pimbino don't really care about Pimbino and uh, Croatia Dalmatia So I could attack Genoa, but the problem is I have Pimbino and I haven't been able to core it yet. So I'm not going to have any hope to core this land either. Savoy, Naples, Ferraro. Burgundy and Provence. <coughs> Poland? <coughs> ah, Poland does not join. Because it's a distant war. They would join if I attacked Hungary. Who's Bohemia fighting? Ah, they're fighting Naples, Burgundy, Provence, Venice, Ferrara. So, Styria was a part of the Empire, and Naples attacked them for some reason. Maybe Venice will be... Okay, so Naples is fighting Styria, Mecklenburg, Stargard, Hungary... Hungary, really? Croatia, Moldavia, Bohemia, Moravia... Glogau, Legnica, Oels, Opol, Rasabor, Sopava, Chesin, and Bayern Landshut. Good luck with that. I don't know why you would attack for that, but uh, yeah, I got a three, three, four. Well, my last guy girl was a four, two, zero, so six. I want to say pips, but they're not pips. Uh, so now it's 10. Okay, so I improved it by 4. It's much more balanced as well. So I'd say that worked out. I'm going to build a... Militia. The ships are almost done. I 
I want to check out this province's uh, gravity modifier. It's not what I wanted. It's 8.3 right now. I just like to check things before buildings are built and compare it. So, Pimbino. Speaking of estates, I should probably remove something. Do that one. Hopefully, it's not bad. Alright, so there's two. There's one big war going on in Italy, and there's a semi big war going on between Milan, and the big one is Naples, so I should be able to attack somebody here. And people shouldn't want to join. France is allied with Milan. Alright, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to attack Venice without Naples joining. Can I attack Naples without Venice joining? That doesn't look great either, 63 to 23. I could attack Verona. Just Garizia and Genoa. I grab like two provinces over here. Or I could attack Siena, but that's the same problem with Pimbino. I think uh, Verona is my only option over here. They're tech 23, so I feel like I have to take that, even though I was 10% over. I think Garizia is in the... Yep, they're in the Holy Roman Empire, so I can't attack them. Or call them in, at least. I'm not going to call in Genoa, because they have a bunch of guys as well. Allies, that is. Alright, well, let's do this.
probably grab just a couple provinces. All right, well, I didn't lose anything from the Greater Nobles. That's great. I'm probably just going to lose Pimbino. Just let him take it. land up over here. Actually, Milan's taking him out. Didn't they give me access? Or did they deny it? They gave me access. Oh, okay, I have to go to this fort first. It's their capital fort. The siege guy is assigned. Was just fighting me, so I don't know how they got over here so fast. Well, they're gone. Alright, so I'm gonna fight this war in the next part, and then after this war, should be a quick war for the most part, then I'll attack Retinum. Alright, thank you for watching. Goodbye.